Every year, there is a group of five team that seemingly comes out of nowhere and shocks the college football world with some sort of historical season or has the potential to make a playoff run with the schedule they are given. Coastal Carolina, Houston, UCF, and Boise State are some famous examples over the years, but a lot of people forget about the team that came out of nowhere in 2015 and had they finished undefeated, would have gotten a shot in the college football playoff. Let me introduce you to the 2015 Temple Owls. Led by familiar names such as Matt Rule, P.J. Walker, and Robbie Anderson, the Owls got off to the best start in school history and had a legit chance to get to the college football playoff, but they fell just short. Today, we are going to continue our series looking at teams and their miracle seasons and talk about the 2015 Temple Owls. But first, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you love college football, give the video a like if you want to support the channel and the video, suggest another team I should take a look at next, and turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload of mine as I will be on a tear these next few weeks. Now let's get started and talk about that time Temple almost made the playoff. A lot of you guys know that the Carolina Panthers are loaded with Temple products such as Matt Rule, Robbie Anderson, and PJ Walker, but I bet a lot of you forget that those guys were stars in college and will go down in the Temple history books and are seen as some of the best players in school history. Going back in time a bit, the Temple Owls are not exactly a very good program historically, but after the turn of the century, they struck gold with a couple of coaching and coordinator hires. It started with Al Golden, who would turn the program around, and he eventually left for the Miami Hurricanes. Then Steve Adazio came in and coordinators Ryan Day and Matt Rule were under him and Temple football had a successful transition of power. Adazio then took the Boston College job and the Owls promoted from within and got their next great head coach in Matt Rule. He was one of the younger coaches in the nation but he was a bright young mind who could help keep Temple football going. In his first year he went 2-10 but he had a huge mess to clean up and he started recruiting some really good players. He had a new young quarterback in P.J. Walker and his high school teammate running back Jahad Thomas, an under-recruited defensive back named Robbie Anderson, and a defensive player by the name of Tyler Matakevich. The 2014 Owls showed a ton of improvement, but they lacked the talent and the experience to beat the better teams in the American Conference, and they would settle for a 6-6 six six record and didn't go to a bowl game. They had the 4th best defense in the country in 2014, so if they could just get that offense going in 2015, they could be a sleeper team. Despite them being bowl eligible, they were not invited to a bowl game, and that must have boiled the players' blood. According to Athlon Sports, the Temple Owls were the 62nd best team in the country going into 2015, but they did say that the Owls had a great chance to potentially win the AAC East division. Either way, Matt Rule was an up-and-coming head coach, and they returned 17 starters, so no one really knew how good they could be. The Owls got their chance to show the world what they are made of in their very first game of the season, as they would have a home matchup with Penn State for their opener. Not only did they beat Penn State in that game, but they won comfortably, and that was the first time they had beaten the Nittany Lions since 1941, and this was already going to be a special season. After that, they went on the road and beat a good Cincinnati team, and they survived with a game-winning field goal and a two-point win over UMass the following week. They then had three straight blowout wins over UCF, Charlotte, and Tulane, and all of a sudden, the Owls were 6-0 and going under the radar. After a win over East Carolina, they were all of a sudden 7-0, ranked number 22 in the country, and they had a huge matchup coming up the following week. The Owls were ranked for the first time since 1979, and the matchup for their Halloween night showdown would be the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. The game was in Philadelphia, and it was going to be without a doubt the biggest game in school history. College game day would come to town and I vividly remember that day and I was so excited for the Temple football game that night and add in the fact that it was on Halloween and it was just sort of the perfect atmosphere. It was also given the primetime slot so there was so much hype. With the Irish being 6-1 and and a top 10 team plus a win over Penn State, if the Owls could win that game and go undefeated, this would create college football chaos and it could be enough to get them into the college football playoff. I definitely thought they'd get a chance and there were some major implications in this game. The Irish were led by Deshaun Kaiser and Will Fuller, and the Owls had a star quarterback in P.J. Walker and arguably the best defensive player in all of college football in Tyler Matakevich, and it was going to be a close game. It went back and forth the entire first half, and the Owls were no joke. They'd end up forcing some turnovers, and the game would go down to the wire, and Temple would even take a late lead with a field goal, 
but Will Fuller would score for Notre Dame late, and Temple had a chance to go down and win, but P.J. Walker threw a late interception, and Notre Dame would hang on to win. This game was one of my all-time favorite games, and I really wish Temple would have won that one, and it would have made everything so interesting and fascinating. The Owls proved they could play with anyone in the country, and they had some stars of their own. Sadly, this would sort of be at the end of the miracle season for Temple, as the rest of the year did not go according to plan. They won three of their last four games, but lost on the road to a not-so-good South Florida team, and they barely hung on for the AAC East crown. They played a really good Houston team in the American Championship game, and they lost by double digits. They had a chance to get to 11 wins, but they lost to Matt Campbell's Toledo Rockets in the Boca Raton Bowl, and they finished with a 10-4 record in 2015. If the Owls would have gone undefeated, they would have had 13 wins, with three of them coming over Penn State, Notre Dame, and a Houston team that ended up finishing top 10 in the country. I think the Owls are one of the few group of five schools that actually had a real chance to ever get a playoff bid, because they truly had the strength of schedule and the star power to do it. Tyler Matikiewicz was a first-team All-American, and won both the Nagaruski and the Bednarik Trophy, and he will go down as a Temple great. He would later go on to be drafted in the seventh round and became a Buffalo Bill. Matt Rule went on to take the Baylor job, completely rebuild the Bears program, and is seen as one of the best coaches in football, and now resides with the Carolina Panthers in the NFL. P.J. Walker was a star at quarterback and would eventually become a star in the XFL and get signed to the Panthers where he is now, and he's even started a game. Robbie Anderson would get a chance in the NFL as well, as he'd break out with the Jets and eventually move to the Panthers, where he's become a star alongside D.J. Moore. Ventel Bryant, who was a freshman at the time, would become the best statistical wide receiver in Temple history and played briefly with the Dallas Cowboys. Reichel Armstead, who was the second best back on the team, most recently played for the Jaguars. And finally, P.J. Walker's high school teammate and Temple star running back that year, Jahad Thomas, would become a really good player and briefly played with the Dallas Cowboys as well. The 2015 Temple Owls were such a fun team with so many cool stories and honestly so much potential. I wish they would have lived up to it, and since then, Temple has become one of the better group of five schools, and I've always had a soft spot for the Owls. The sad thing is though, Temple has kind of become a stepping stone program, as coaches come there and take a bigger job, as Jeff Collins went from Florida to Temple and is now the head coach at Georgia Tech. I would love to know what you guys think. If you're a Temple fan, let me know what you think of this season. If you're a Notre Dame fan, let me know what you think of this game. And if you're just a fan of my channel and the video, I would love to know your thoughts on this 2015 Temple team. If you have another team that I should take a look at next, please let me know down in the comment section as I will be doing a ton of videos like this over the coming months and years, and I want to have plenty of ideas, so please let me know. Before you go, be sure to show the channel some support and some love as you give the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and check out all my other videos on these team documentary style videos, including my one on the 2016 Houston Cougars who almost made the college football playoff. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.